I'm Dan Graziano and I'm here with the brand new Galaxy S5. Like the iPhone 5S, the Galaxy S5 includes a fingerprint scanner located in its home button. Fingerprints can be used to unlock your device, access private content on your phone, verify your identity when purchasing content from Samsung, and even to authorize transactions with PayPal. To set it up, go to Settings, select Finger Scanner, and click on Fingerprint Manager. You will be asked to swipe your finger from the screen down over the home button eight times. You must then create a password that will be used if your fingerprint fails to register. After the password has been created, you can tap the OK button on the pop-up menu to set the fingerprint as the default method for unlocking your device. This can also be done by going to Settings, followed by Lock Screen, and selecting Fingerprint. The Galaxy S5 stores up the three fingerprints. To register another one, click the Fingerprint Manager, swipe your finger, and press the plus icon at the top of the screen. A fingerprint can be deleted or renamed with a long press on the screen. Unfortunately, the scanner can't be used when the display is turned off. When you swipe your finger, you must also do so exactly how you did it during the setup process. The scanner also seems to have problems if your fingers are damp or have lotion on them, so it's best to keep them dry. Begin your swipe about half an inch above the home button and follow through through the bottom of the button without pressing it. If you swipe too slow or the scanner is unable to read your fingerprint, you will have five attempts before you're required to enter the password. To use your fingerprint for purchasing content from Samsung, simply enter the fingerprint scanner settings, select the verify Samsung account option, and toggle it on. For PayPal, select the pay with PayPal option, install the Fido Ready app, and link your PayPal account. Your phone can then be used to authorize transactions on any mobile site or app that accepts PayPal. The fingerprint scanner can also be used to prevent others from accessing certain content on your phone. This can be done by selecting private mode in the settings menu and choosing fingerprint. When the feature is toggled on, which will require you to swipe your finger, any content you have designated as private will be available for your viewing. When the feature is disabled, however, the private content will be stashed away and you'll be unable to view it. This feature is great if you let others use your phone and you don't want them seeing any of the crazy stuff you have stored on it. For more how-tos like this one, check out howto.cnet.com. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter. I'm Dan Graziano for CNET. Thanks for watching.